Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video today, we are here with our final tier list of the month, or well, final tier list for like positions. We're looking at the attackers. A lot of just insane cards in this one. I did the midfielders tier list today as well, two videos in a day. Um, I don't think I've even done a card that's under 96 rated on this, so there is 95, 94, probably even some 93s that are insane. I've already got to like 60 cards just on this video alone. That's how many insane cards are out in this game right now. Um, the main things I'm looking for in attackers are five-star skills or weak foot. Personally, I care more about weak foot. Some people would say skills matter more. Um, for me, I'm going to say weak foot, and that's more important on the game, especially a lower level. High-level skills can make a bigger difference. Um, in terms of the play styles I want, finesse is definitely the number one for me. Quick step's great. Rapid's pretty good. Um, aerial on tall players, if you know how to use it, it's probably up there for the best one. Uh, any passing play styles can be pretty nice. Um, uh, yeah, that's mo most of the ones I'm looking for. That'll be a big say in what cards I like. Body types obviously matter for strikers. So like R9 has a unique body type that just seems to body people but still be flexible. He'd be a great example of a card I really like on the game. Um, it's opinion based. Feel free to comment any feedback you've got. Let's get into it. So Crespo. Uh, this Crespo was a ridiculously overpriced card. Nearly 1.7 mil for his SBC. Aerial, I think he's 6 foot. Yeah, 6 foot. Aerial's not that big a deal. Rapid's good. But um, I think this card's solid. But compared to the insane amount of attacks we've got, I'm going to have a B tier. You have Dean Natale A. I did have Chetri S tier in the last one, but with the amount of... Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that god squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. Insane cards that are out now. I'm going to have him A. This card's not... Uh, this... What do you call it? Um... Video is not remotely based on um, chemistry. How do, you, how do you even know? Do his thing. That's two H's. His chemistry is crap, but his card's great. He's got three, two amazing play styles. Dino's obviously going to be top end S tier. R9 as well. We're going to put R9 as probably the number one player in the game. Quick step finesse. Aerial's not a big deal on him, but it's not bad to have. Gerd Muller, five-star weak foot, finesse, rapid. Um, some really good stats as well. We have a pretty high eight here. Pele, I don't think he's S tier anymore. This Pele, not enough play styles. Um, a bit weak compared to some of the other cards. Ferran Torres, 5'4". Um, these aren't the best attacking play styles. His stats are really good. I'm going to have him B. If Spain winning game five-star weak foot, he'd move to A. I just think his play styles hurt him. Dalglish card's pretty insane. Um, he's got finesse. Um, I don't think the rest of them are great. But I might move him to A tier, actually, because the passing and physical aren't quite as good. The card's not quite as good, I remember. Martinelli. Does he have, actually does Martinelli even have five star? Yeah, he does have a five star. Really good play styles. I'm going to have him B tier for now. Nunes, we're going to have him A tier. I did say that I thought Uruguay could do quite well at the Copa America. They just knocked Brazil out last night. Finesse and Rapid. Press proven is fairly decent on strong players. If they... Um... Oh, it's a make you mark. I thought it was um, a path to glory, this one. Okay, well, he's going to get a plus one overall and get to a 98 anyway. So, pretty crazy card. Bacola. I've got him at B. He'll probably be A if France win. Fallen, benefited from Uruguay doing well. Weird cards, 5-4, um, I wish he'd have had a 5-star weak foot, I think it's solid though. Chewinga I think is pretty good. Rivaldo is pretty obvious S tier for me, crazy card. Rooney, very very expensive SBC, but a good card. Finesse, 5-star weak foot, long balls, a fairly nice one, crazy stats. Cruyff. Ridiculous card, obviously going to be S tier. Of course, I've quite a few cards to see four of them. 
Finesse, quick step are amazing. First touch is fairly good. It's insane on new gen. Zcom having A tier. Charlton, S tier, not, probably not. I don't think he's quite up there in terms of how he plays in game. Um, but he got some great stuff. He doesn't have finesse at all either, which is quite a hindrance. Puskas going to have S tier. The card's great. Henri going to have him low S tier. Finesse, rapid first touch. Five star weak foot. Really good stats across the board. Pop, probably low A tier. Hadji, fairly high A tier. Memphis Depay, hopefully he doesn't get his five star weak foot because I don't want him to be England. Finesse, first touch, Travella, not the best, but they're okay. Inside surpass, pretty good. Stats wise, this card's amazing. If he gets five star weak foot, he moves to S tier. Kyle Moane, B tier. Alma, probably high B. Nico Williams, don't remember the play style on this card, not going to lie. Yeah, not the best, five star week for though, will be pretty good still. Hoyland, he's got, um, it might be 5-5 five, five and finesse actually. Yeah, rapid and finesse 5-5, five, five, put him into A tier. Averts, better midfielder, but still a pretty good attacker. Sphere Smith, still a really good card, quick step, finesse, first touch. Neymar, I'm going to have him S tier. The way Neymar plays on the game, and I think this card's got quick step and finesse. Yep, first touch. He'll be insane on old gen. Alvarez. Finesse and rapid. I think he's a really good card. Tevez. Quick step, press proven. He will be good, um, but I wish his playstyle plus has been some other stuff. Messi, probably low A tier at this point. Watkins, probably high B. Actually, no, I think he can justify A tier because of quick step and finesse. But this Watkins could have been made really, really good if the fourth play style they've given him was something better than Relentless. Relentless is absolutely crap on a striker who's already got 99 stamina. I don't understand some of their thought process on some of the, uh, what you call it, uh, play styles they're giving out. Uh, Sane, pretty solid card. Probably B tier though, I don't think there's enough of the other areas. Cole Palmer is bordering on S tier, I think. Finesse, technical. If one of these was swapped for quick step or rapid, I think it'd be an S tier card. But he doesn't have either of those, so it does hurt. Where cost, I'm honestly going to put him S tier. And this is on the basis of people know how to use the card. He's six foot six with aerial. That is the best player in the game in the air, at least out of the attackers that were. With an engine, he's got near perfect dribbling, so he should be clunky. His pace is great. He's got an amazing shot. His passing's great. His physical's near the best it can be. He's got aerial. He's got rapid and lengthy, so he's going to be stupid quick. That card is insane, whether people think want to use it or not. Liao, probably high A tier. We'll zoom out a bit here. This Martinez is solid, but not amazing. Verts, I'm going to have a mess tier. Um, it's a 99 card. Crazy stats. Pretty good play styles. Dembele, uh, S tier for sure. Kayser, I'm going to put B tier, but have another quick look at him. I remember not thinking he was that great. He's only got one pretty good play style. No five star weak foot. The stats are good, but yeah, I think it's not an S tier really. A tier, bottom end on Ganacho. Diaz mid A tier. Don't think his play styles are amazing though, as even though his stats are great. Hansen very good. Jonathan David probably having a much better run than people expected for Canada. Uh, he could go to a 98. He still needs these. He's going to get the overall appearance one, but it's a pretty great card nonetheless. Kane probably B tier. I think this Ronaldo is still S tier in my opinion. Uh, it's got the finesse to as well. Vinny Jr. is a great card. Mbappe, probably going to put around there. Cover at Skelly, a mid-80. More of a creative player in terms of his passing ones. Jota, very good. If you look at this Jota, 1%. Sadly, he won't get any more upgrades. Finesse, Tiki Taka, technical. Really good stats across the board. Saka, I'm putting him into S tier. Uh, Bakayo, finesse, technical. Press proven, Williams, great. This card must be one of the highest in the whole game for total stats, by the way. The card's crazy. Decent chance at getting 5-5 as well. 
and then he would be a 99 if England win the Euros. What a card that would be. Probably low S tier on Griezmann. Then Haaland. I'm probably going to put around here. I do think Vegas is basically a better version of him. Appreciate you all tuning in. Interested to see what you think of the way I've run these. I could have been a lot more strict and probably pushed some down. Um, I've not properly really gone between the tiers too much. I could spend hours probably like really fine tuning it. But the cards are so similar at this point. It is pretty hard to rank them. I do appreciate you all, as always, for supporting the channel. Keep it spicy. Do hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.